Today I'm on the west coast of New Zealand's South Island, checking out some of the old historic gold mining water races that delivered the all too precious water to the miners over a hundred years ago. Just getting to these water races is a challenge in itself. Starting off in what seems to be a meandering river, it soon climbs through steep slot canyons as the water race meanders through tunnels and further up into canyons. These tunnels were hand carved by the miners with pick and shovel over a hundred years ago and it's true testament to these guys that they still stand structurally sound today. Some of these tunnels are easily 50, 60, 70 metres tall. They are extremely impressive. As the water race continues up into the hills, they start to get steeper sides and get really, really narrow. This is not somewhere you want to be during wet weather. In fact, only 24 hours after I was here, I returned after a rainstorm. And as you can see, the river had swollen from a little meandering stream to a full on pumping river. I could only get to the very, very lower reaches of the, the water race before the water was too high to pass. I'd hate to think what the water levels were like up in those narrow slot canyons. Things started to get challenging as I had to climb a small clay waterfall. Very slippery underfoot with minimal handholds. At the top of this, the canyon got very, very narrow and checking the depth of the water with the walking pole I was carrying, I decided this was my limit. This is where I needed to turn back. It is really important when you're operating in the backcountry by yourself that you know your limits and stick within them. The last thing you want is for something to go wrong and you're by yourself in the middle of nowhere. So this was my limit. It was time to head back.
It was a fantastic trip, good times all round.